Hi everyone, and thanks for watching Science at Home. My name is Jonah, and I'm a product developer at 3M. I use light to measure the properties of materials that go into the products we make here at 3M. One of the coolest parts about my job, though, is I get to work with scientists from all over the world, like my friend Sydney here, who is a 2021 finalist in the 3M Discovery Education Young Scientist Challenge. You've all seen a rainbow before, right? Rainbows happen when water droplets in the air bend and reflect the sun's rays. The bending and reflecting of the rays causes the light to spread out. This spreading is called refraction. Blue light spreads a lot more than red light in this case. Today, we're going to make a device that'll allow you to see rainbows anytime you want without having to wait for a rainy day. It's called a spectroscope. The modern spectroscope was invented by a German scientist named Joseph Fraunhofer. He was a pioneer in glass making and was really interested in how light can be manipulated by the properties of glass. His first spectroscope used lens and prisms to break light into its component colors. He conducted many experiments with his spectroscope, such as comparing the light from the sun to that of other stars in the sky. That field is called stellar spectroscopy, and it's one of the reasons that we know anything at all about the size and makeup of the universe. Today, scientists like me use spectroscopes with built-in cameras called spectrometers. We use these spectrometers in the lab to measure materials, outside in the field when we're doing work, and also on satellites and even the Mars rovers. So let's get started making your own spectroscope. Our first step is always safety. You'll often see scientists working with gloves when they're in the lab because they're using volatile chemicals or maybe extreme temperatures. We're not working with any of those things today, but it's always a good idea to have your safety glasses on hand. And as always, Make sure you have an adult around if you need any help. So, the materials we're gonna need, paper towel tube, CD, make sure it's a CD that you don't necessarily care about. We might hurt it a little bit and we won't be able to read it afterwards. Some cardstock, some tape. I have three kinds of tape. Good 3M'er, right? A pen, also some scissors. There's usually one, more than one way to do things, and I'm gonna show you the best way that I've found how. Maybe you can improve on this design though. First, we're gonna to need to take our paper towel tube. We're gonna to have to cover up one side. You can do this in a couple ways. We could use the cardstock, or we could use some of these tapes. I'll show you how to use the cardstock, but I'm probably gonna use the tape because it's a little bit easier. First thing you wanna do if you're using the cardstock is you're gonna put the paper towel tube down, and you're just gonna trace the outside. All right, and so we're just gonna make a nice circle here on the bottom of like that. Then we're gonna cut out an area just a little bit outside of that diameter. So if you leave light leaking in, you're gonna get spectrum forming or rainbows forming from multiple points of light. I didn't do a good job drawing, but this is the general idea. So if you're gonna continue this way, next thing you wanna do is make a small hole right in the middle. So I'm just gonna use my pen. I'm gonna punch through. There we go. So now I've got my hole in the middle. I can take this here. We can use, probably in this case, just a little bit of scotch tape will do. We'll tape that down to the end. There we go. So now, if we look through the end, of this, we should see a single point of light. Now, I like tape, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this with my tape. I've got some really nice dark black tape here. If you had some blue tape, that would work, or some gray tape. Most important thing, 
just to make sure that you cover that end and try to keep as much light out as possible. So here, I'm gonna use a couple of pieces of this black tape. And if you're using the tape, I generally want to put the tape on first because it's kind of hard to punch a hole in tape and then put it on. I'm gonna put one last piece of tape around like this too. All right. So there we go, can't see through. Now, take my pen again, I'm gonna poke a hole right in the center. And there we go, you got your single point of light. So, next we have to add the CD. And this step would be the same with or without the card. So what we're gonna do for this part we're going to take the very end of this and if you see there's kind of a spiral pattern going around I'm actually going to cut right along one of these spirals at about they're about a 45 degree angle so I'm going to cut from one side now I'm going to cut from the other side about that 45 degree angle going until they meet. There you go. So you've got about a 45 degree angle. Next thing we've got to do is we've got to make a spot that we're going to look in to the, the spectroscope. So right on this point here, we're going to cut out a little tiny window. About like that. Don't worry if it's too big, we could always put a little bit of tape back on it. So now, this next part here, you're gonna take your CD, and you're just gonna put it right on the end of the tube. At this point, you can do two things. You could tape it in place, or you could just hold it with your hands. What you really wanna to try to do here though, is make sure you get as much of the light blocked from around the sides as you can. And now, if we glance in here, we should be able to see some rainbows. Let's see if I can get it. So now that we've got the spectroscope built, it's time to make some observations. You can try looking at the sky, but not the sun. You could maybe try looking at something like an incandescent light bulb or an LED light bulb. Do those look different than fluorescent light bulbs? The spectroscope works by limiting the amount of light that comes into the end through the pinhole. And then that light comes down, bounces off of the CD, and diffracts into many colors. What else can you look at with your spectroscope? Perhaps try the difference between an LED light bulb and a fluorescent light bulb. Or if it's fall outside like it is where I am, you could look at the difference between a yellow leaf, a red leaf, and a green leaf. What do you think you'll see? Remember to clean up when you're done. I'm gonna keep my spectroscope, but if you don't keep yours, remember to take it apart, recycle it, or throw it away. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jonah, and I hope you check out more Science at Home videos from 3M.